Imagine a remedy that could transform your skin. A solution that brings a glow, a radiance that is lovely. Today, we bid farewell to the Skin Transformation se Series that has brought joy and beauty to so many. The final remedy is here, a culmination of an incredible journey. But remember, every ending is a new beginning. Today's remedy emphasizes discipline. Yes, discipline. It's the secret ingredient, it's the key to achieving your skin goals. This series may be ending, but the discipline it has instilled will remain. Now, for the final remedy, it's not about making your skin fair, it's about enhancing your natural skin tone. It involves a routine that needs to be followed two to three times a day, depending on your comfort. This remedy involves a paste made from fenugreek and chia seeds, a combination that provides hydration and nourishment. But if you don't have these ingredients, no worries. You can substitute with oats, rice or wheat flour. Next, we add a dose of vitamin C through a small piece of beetroot. If unavailable, use lemon peel. Remember, the goal is to make your cheeks pinkish, not to change your skin color. Blend these ingredients with milk for dry skin or rose water for a combination or oily skin. Allow it to rest before applying. Remember, this is not just a remedy, it's a love letter to your skin. Embrace it, fall in love with it. This is the final chapter of the Skin Transformation Series, but the journey to beautiful skin continues. Begin by preparing a unique facial mask. Soak oats in milk or any solvent you prefer, allowing it to fully absorb. You'll notice a delightful pink hue thanks to the beetroot. Once ground up, your mask is ready to use. Next, create a special toner. I've made three bottles myself. Use one immediately and the others can be used naturally over time. Remember, refrigeration is essential. Without it, your toner will only last a week. Now, on to the application. Step 1. Wash your face. Ensure it's completely clean. Any residual dirt will penetrate your skin. Apply a generous layer of the mask. It's magic. Cover your entire face, even your eyes and neck. Let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes. Once the time is up, begin removing the mask. You'll immediately notice a difference. Your skin will be softer than any moisturizer could achieve. Finally, tone your skin using the homemade toner while your skin is still moist. This routine is more than just skincare. It's a ritual of self-love and care. Give it a try and you'll understand why I can't stop singing its praises. Imagine harnessing the power of two natural wonders to create the perfect skin toner. Yes, you heard it right. We're talking about aloe vera gel and rice water. While rice water is known for its moisturizing properties, it can be dehydrating for some. But don't worry, aloe vera is here to compensate. It offers a beautiful balance, providing the color correction properties of rice and the hydration of aloe vera. Whisk it well, ensuring the aloe vera gel is completely liquid. Store it in a spray bottle for convenience. Use this magical concoction when your skin is already moisturized. Let it absorb all the beautiful ingredients. You can follow it up with your usual skincare routine. Whether it's vitamin C, glycolic acid, or just a moisturizer, go ahead. Remember, after moisturizing, let it sit for 15 minutes before applying sunscreen. We all know the importance of sun protection, don't we? After sunscreen, you're all set to touch up and go about your day. Repeat the same application in the evening and watch your skin glow. But remember, after completing the entire series, take a two to three days break for skin fasting. This lets your skin revert and refresh. So here's to embracing the best of both worlds and paving the way to radiant skin.